Did you know you could build your own house in Tears of the Kingdom? You can stick your thick horses in there, cook your favorite meals, take a nap, or even have beautiful portraits of yourself made. And did you also know that we can unlock a farm to be able to grow our own big hardy radishes? And today we're going to be going over how to unlock all of this. The housing system is pretty cool, and you can even get a prayer statue here so you can upgrade your hearts and stamina. I don't know if it's really healthy to be having your horse right next to where you eat, but regardless, it's really cool because this is a whole modular building design, so you can really do whatever you want with the way you can build your house and there is places to store all of your weapons shields and bows up here if you so desire and you can actually take any photo in the game and have it displayed here in this little display room i wish we could actually get other furniture and kind of decorate the house a little bit more than we otherwise could but i do have to say it's actually pretty expensive to be able to unlock this and to buy all of the building pieces to build Link's house, you're going to need to head to Hudson's Construction Company in Terrytown. There's going to be a couple talking inside. Talk to the couple inside to begin the storyline. Once you finish this conversation, you're going to see their daughter running around the central area of Terrytown. Talk to her real quick, and then go back and talk to Hudson just outside of their building. From here, go to the side of the building, run up the stairs, and then open the door to Madison's room. Talk to her, and then follow her to the town square, where you'll participate in a quiz. Get the one answer correct, then follow her over to the area where that rail car is. You need to block the view of the guy that's guarding the rail system, so just grab this piece of wood and attach it in front of his face so he can't see. Then go back and talk to Madison, she'll run over, and then you can head down to the construction site to finish this quest for a nice little scene floating in a balloon. Then from here, go back to the construction company house, talk to his wife, and she's going to charge you an arm, a leg, a left nut, and your firstborn child to be able to have your first house. Now that 3,000 rupees only buys you the land and just two modules for your house. You'll get an entrance and a bedroom. For all of these other modules, you'll actually have to buy them and attach them yourself in really whichever way you want. If you talk to the guy that apparently permanently lives right next to your house, you can initiate the building process where you can edit and move around your house pieces. If you talk to him, you can say you need more rooms, and you can check out all the different building pieces that we can have. There's unfinished, there's unfurnished and furnished pieces that are going to cost a little bit more, and there's quite a few different rooms that you can choose from as well as different connecting pieces, stairs, and even an outside garden pond. All the pieces do add up to be quite expensive, but thankfully there is a shrine right nearby and you can literally build everything that you need to. The most annoying part of this is that you will be using Ultra Hand to move your pieces around and you can't actually go inside of your house to be able to help you with this process. So it's a little bit cumbersome, but it's still really cool that we get to build our own place. Now let's unlock our own personal farm. To do this, you're gonna need to head southeast of central Hyrule to Hateno Village. If you head to the northern side of Hateno, there's going to be a school up here. And we need to actually go to this school in the morning. Also, if you want to get a Korok seed, you can ring this bell up at the top for a Korok. Now, if it's not morning time, you can throw a piece of wood on the ground. You can hold the button like you're going to throw your weapon. And then you can select something that'll start a fire and you can throw it right at it. Alternatively, if you have flint, you could drop it and hit it with a weapon. Just rest this fire and set it to noon. Once you wake up, you should notice that there's going to be people inside of the school now. Just head up to the chalkboard and talk to Simon to start the quest. Essentially, this is a history lesson and he's trying to teach the kids, and they're going to ask you to see a mural. We need to take a picture of this mural and bring it back to the class to complete the quest. From here, you're going to want to head to Kakariko Village, and from the shrine, we're just going to jump straight down to this large building here. You'll remember this building from Breath of the Wild if you played that, but we just need to go right inside of this door, and then from here, we just need to run up the stairs. Once you get to the top, you're going to turn left, and you'll see the mural right here. You'll have to use your camera to be able to take a picture of this. If you haven't unlocked the camera, you'll need to unlock it by doing the quest with uh, Robbie and Joshua out in Lookout Landing. Once you've got your photo, head back to Hateno Village and back to the classroom. Make sure it's set to noontime again, just in case it took you a little bit longer, and talk to the teacher once again to complete this part of the quest. For completing this, you'll get 10 Hylian Rice, which we'll need for the next part of the quest. Once you complete this, talk to the teacher again to start the next leg of the quest. For this next quest, we actually need to make Monster Curry, which means we're going to need to pick up some ingredients. You're going to want to head back to Terrytown to the general store here, and you're going to need to buy one Monster Extract. Next, you'll need to head to Goron City at the top right corner of the map, and you're going to need to go to the general store. At the back left corner of this general store is going to be Goron Spice, and you just need to buy one. Next, head to any location that you can cook at, grab the Goron Spice, one of the monster extracts, and one Hylian Rice, and then cook that all together. This is going to make you your monster curry. Now head back to Ateno Village, where you're going to talk to the teacher once again to turn in your curry and complete this quest. The kids are definitely going to be very excited about this. After this, we've now unlocked the ability to use the school's field, and if we head outside of the school, and just out over this area, 
there's going to be an empty plot of land right here with a poor old lady just walking around in the rain. The interesting thing about this is she's better at growing certain items than others. And if you decide to grow any hardy radishes or endura carrot, you're going to get less of a yield. But you're going to need at least one of these items to be able to grow a batch of them. For this part, we're going to use these big hardy radishes. Now this poor old lady is going to tell us that resting at inns and things like that is not going to speed up the growth of the carrots, so it is going to take some time before we could come back and harvest our resources. All you need to do is leave and then come back after a certain amount of time of playing the game, and you'll have your crops grown for you. Unfortunately, she can only grow two big hardy radishes at a time, but it's still pretty cool. But the nice thing is once you ask her to plant something for you, she's going to continuously grow this over and over until you tell her to start growing something else. So over time, you'll just be able to come back to this location and collect your hardy radishes when you need them. 